high energy is right. Middle school can be a tough time for kids. They're making so many new discoveries and not all of them are good. However, Doug Lyerly transforms his classroom into a haven from the outside world that's still full of meaningful lessons. When asking students to describe their favorite classes, they might use words like Fun, interactive, very, very fun. But these students aren't describing P.E. or theater. They're actually describing Mr. Lyerly's social studies class. While most people might not associate social studies with fun, Lyerly says that combining learning and laughing is exactly how he runs his classroom. I mean, I try to have fun and we joke a lot, but I'm, I also have up there TCB, take care of business. So. If you can combine those two things, that's hopefully I'm coming across that way. And he says that a huge part of this is linking the subject to the real world. The most important thing that I try to keep in mind is I want everything that we do to actually have an impact. It either needs to be creating something that is meaningful to them and or meaningful to the community. And there's, as much as I can avoid it, no busy work. A strategy he has perfected over years. I started teaching when I was in seventh grade. There was a, there was a forest preserve by my house and I got too old to take nature classes there and so I volunteered to help teach and I caught the bug and it's what I want to do the rest of my life, it's what I went to school to do and I have the good fortune to be able to continue doing that today. And according to his students, his hard work is paying off. I really love it and I enjoy it and I, he makes jokes a lot and I definitely have learned a lot this year so far. Tell me something good. I didn't really think that kids could do much about the government and how things are the way the world is, but um, now I like really ma made me think about how we can change the world. And it's moments like these that inspired Lyerly to teach. I like the moment when you're talking to a student and something clicks inside their head and they see something clearly, but then often they see an angle that you've never seen before. But what really helps, he says, is the childlike energy he brings both in and out of the classroom that truly engages his students and allows him to talk to them on a more meaningful level. I do know that I turned into a meme recently. When my, when my son, Elliot, was about to be born, I found out that one of the students had taken a picture of me in the middle of being very excited about something, and the meme was, when you're about to have a kid, but you're still a kid. So. That might be part of it. And this engagement makes his classroom a place for fun and learning. A truly amazing teacher, very accomplished, and he has a lot of strategies, strategies to keep his students engaged. But believe it or not, there's still many teachers we haven't even recognized yet. So if you know one, message us on Facebook or email us at newsroom at naztoday.org.